Okay, so this is my dishwasher that decided it wanted to stop working. What was happening? When you go to start it, you push your buttons, you know, normal high temp wash, and then I go to start it. The little light would just start flashing, and you shut the door, and it would not turn on. So from looking online and reading about this particular model of Maytag slash Whirlpool crap, well, the door lock is possibly the culprit. So it wasn't that expensive, and I like to tinker with stuff, so I figured I'd order the part up and, you know, see what I can do. So first things first, disconnect the power from your dishwasher, whether it be by plug or your circuit breakers. And what you want to do is, on this particular model, you have to take this whole front off. You got 12 screws. Let's see if you can see this here. You get 12 screws all the way down the sides, all around the perimeter. I'm not going to do much talking as I'm doing this until the most important parts, so we're just unscrewing. And you're going to need a T15 star screwdriver, if you can see that. Okay, and a little bit of a hack for you. If these like to slide out of your tools, get a little bit of candle wax. It's called stick'em. Can you see? Oh, my glasses, I can't see if you see that. It's called stick'em, candle adhesive. Put a little bit on your attachments and it'll stay on. Enough of that. So now, take the screws off all along the side first. So I'm not a repairman. Can we say that word anymore? No. Um, I'm not a repair person. I just like to be able to fix my own things. Do this at your own risk. You can save yourself some money on a repair person. You know, that's what I'm for. If you do it yourself, do it. Taking the bottom, the screws off. The panel is going to drop. It's really going to drop when you take off these two screws on the top where the lock mechanism is. There's one. And there's two. You can get you a good angle here. Grab my flashlight. There you go. Okay, this is the piece that we're taking out. I need two hands for this. I can show you what you're actually going to be moving in here. I don't know if I can do this. Right here, where my fingernail is pointing to. You're going to be pulling that piece there, and that's going to release the whole mechanism. I still have a tripod where I can hold my light to show you. Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's release that one there. Let's release that side. Now, you have a camera on your phone, and what you should do is take pictures so you know can remember which way your wires are going, and all you are is going to... If they don't come off by hand, which I was hoping, grab yourself a flat screwdriver. Because I have arthritic hands, so I need extra oomph. There's one. And there's two. Here's the old one. Here's the new box. As you can see, they're both the same. Now I cheated. I did take this out before I ordered the new one, just to make sure I got the right part. Now, to put this all back together, just reverse what you did. Snap, snap. Okay. Now the black wire was on top. Brown wire goes on the bottom. Now your dishwasher may be different than this one. They're not all the same. But these door latches are pretty much standard 
on all and what I found out, but there was no video on my particular model dishwasher to do this. So I'm winging it. Okay, so let's put those two long screws back in first. So you gotta make sure your panel is flush up top. Use your legs if you have to. Okay, let's screw all the, all the screws back in. So this is all put back together. Let's make sure this closes. Can we have a clip? Now, we'll be right back. I need to put the circuit breaker back on. Okay, so let's take this for a test spin. Normal, start, close. And it turned on. Look at that. I fixed my dishwasher. The kids are going to be happy tonight. They don't have to wash dishes by hand. Well, I know I normally do cooking channel, but I also do other things. So if you like what you see and you learned something today, give me a subscribe if you're new to my channel and a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.